Well, you can enjoy a delightful evening at the Milwaukee County's Burner Botanical Gardens, taking in the sights of handmade lanterns depicting animals, plants, traditions, and much, much more. Joining us now to talk about it is the show director uh, of Burner Botanical Gardens, that's Shirley Walzak, along with uh, Hoi Yan Lu. So we want to talk about the Tian Yu Arts here, everybody. Can you tell us a little bit about China Light, Shirley? China Lights is this immersion of Chinese culture that we're bringing to the botanical gardens in Milwaukee. It's an evening event that is just breathtaking. Absolutely. It seems like a really cool thing. Uh, Hoi, can you tell me a little bit about the symbolism of these lanterns? So this year we have more than 40 sets of different lanterns and each of them has a different theme and each of them carries different um, cultural significance behind it. So when people come, they can not only see, uh, like it's not only a feast of the eyes, it can, they can also take home some culture um, sure. significance, right? Yeah, absolutely. So how many artisans does it take to put together something so intricate? Um, this year we have uh, 32 artisans who travel all the way from China to build and uh, install the lanterns for six weeks. And the production actually started uh, more than half a year ago. So uh, everything that we put into the show is tremendous. So how many people are collaborating to put this whole thing together ultimately? Well, ultimately there's probably over a couple hundred people that between volunteers, staff, vendors, Beautiful. everybody that puts it together, it's amazing. It's a big team effort to bring this to Milwaukee. So, yeah, so when would you, as somebody who's looking, I would think, my, I'd love to take my son to something like this. Uh, when is the ideal time for people to come? Um, and when would you encourage families? Because it's obviously a fa very family-friendly event here. Well, we're open from 5.30 to 10 p.m. every night. Okay. And we've kept, because it is such a popular show, we have made improvements with parking, trying to get people in as quickly as possible, and also having signs. So actually during the week, weekends, it's, it's a busy show. It's going to be crowded, but be prepared for that. Yeah, and, but course. it's a wonderful show to see. Yeah, of course. No question. Can you tell us about the three interactive displays, which are among the new highlights of this year's festival? So we have a huge shark where people can walk through as it changes color. And there's another two that are really, really popular with small kids. Um, one is the path where people can step on and it changes color. And the other one is a swing where people can swing on and, uh, and it changes color as well as they swing. So they, they've been really popular in the show so far. Really cool. I'd definitely love to check that out. It's absolutely beautiful. Shirley Walzak, Hoi Yan Lu, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Wow. We want to give you a panda, hey, hey, your own like, panda for Pandamania. Yeah, you were holding that. I was thinking, I wonder if I'm going to get that at the end. Thank you very much, Shirley. I really appreciate it. For more information, everybody, or simply to enjoy China Lights, which you should do. I enjoy just looking at the uh, images right there. Uh, just head to chinalights.org and get involved.